Starting off, make sure you have Exploring Properties open. You can find that by going to View and then clicking on Exploring Properties. Then go to Start GUI, click the plus, Insert Screen GUI, and then we can rename the Screen GUI to Main Menu. After that, insert a text label, rename this to Title, change the size to 1 on Properties. You can just do that by typing 1, and then it should cover your whole screen. I'm going to change the background color free to 30, 30, 30. Then if we scroll back down, go to text, and then we can change this to the name of our game. I'm just going to keep it as title. Change the text color to white, and then we can change the font face to some nice little font. I'm going to choose Montserrat. Then, do text scaled. Then we can click on our title, we'll drag it to the side, grab one of these points, and then we'll scale it down to reasonable size. Actually, the size is pretty good. Then click on the plus, insert your UI corner, go to the right corner, open corner radius, change offset to 0, change scale to 0 0.2. Give it a nice little round corner. Next, click the plus on main menu again, insert a text button. Then we'll change background color free to 30, 30, 30, just like our tile. We'll right click on the UI corner, click on duplicate, and then we'll drag this duplicate into our text button. Then we'll scroll down, click the size, Put in one, then we should cover our whole screen. We'll scale it down again to a reasonable size. Also, this is pretty good. Next, we'll change our text again. So I'll change the font face to Montserrat. Change the text scale to true. Change the text color free to white. And then I'll make the weight extra bold. After that, you'll see that our button is quite big. So we'll add a UI padding to our text button. Go to padding top and padding bottom, click on the arrows, and put in 0.2 or just 0.2 on both of these. This should make the button look like this. Then if we click on the text button and hold control, then click on the title, and then just drag it until both of the rulers are in the center, then we know that our main menu is properly centered. After that, we'll click on the text button, and I'm just going to change the text to play. After that, go to model, insert a part, press F when you've Click on your part, and it will send you this part right here. We click on the plus, insert a decal, and as you can see by the orange width, we have this is the front right here. So now that we know where the front is, I'm gonna drag this part over here. And then I'm gonna anchor it, change transparency to one, and change can collide off. And I'm gonna put it around around here. This should be a good position. Then we'll rename this part to cam part. And then we'll right click, group as model, and then we'll do camera model. After that, go down to properties while selecting on the camera model and change model streaming mode to persistent. If you don't see this option, you have streaming disabled, which is fine. But if you do have this option, make sure you change this to persistent, otherwise your camera will not work. Next, click on our screen GUI, change ignore GUI and set to true. And disable reset on spawn. This is so that the main menu doesn't re reappear again when the player respawns, and this is so that the scaling is correct and doesn't take notes of the top bar. Next, insert a local script into our screen GUI. We'll rename this to manager. Then we'll write local camera equals the workspace dot current camera local camera art equals workspace dot camera model dot cam part then we'll do camera dot camera type equals enum dot camera type dot scriptable then we'll do camera dot c frame equals camera part dot c frame that should be our camera done next we'll do scripts dot parent dot text button dot mouse button one click colon connect function some brackets and it should look like this once we have this, we'll go back to our game, click on the plus on our screen GUI, insert a frame, and then we'll rename this frame to transition. Go down to properties, change the size to 1, I'm going to change the background color 3 to 20, 20, 20, and then I'll change the Z index to 2. This is just to make sure that the transition frame is over our title and text button. Because if I set this to 0, as you can see that these overlap, which is not what we want. So make sure you set it to 2. After that, go to position, go to X, set this to 1, and then make sure border size pixel is 0. 
After that, it should go back to looking normal like this. But if we go back to manager, here what we'll do is we'll do game colon get service, tween service, colon create, script dot parent dot transition, tween info dot new, and you can choose whatever amount. Just make sure it's lower than I would say one. So I'm gonna do 0 0.25. Enum dot easing style dot I will use quad enum dot easing direction dot in and then out of the brackets we'll do a comma then we'll do some squiggly brackets and we'll write position equals udim2 dot new zero 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 and then outside of all this we'll do column play and right now your script should look something like this what we'll do is we'll highlight this copy it make in one new line wait 0 0.25 and then we'll paste this in by using control v and then we'll change the x to minus one and then we'll change this to out on the easing direction but before that we'll make two new lines and we'll do camera dot camera type equals enum dot camera type dot custom then we'll do script dot parent dot text button dot visible equals true and the script dot parent dot tile dot visible equals false. Now to prevent any bugs, we'll create two new lines here and we'll do local db equals false and then we'll copy everything here, delete it and we'll do if db equals equals false then paste this in and then one new line here and we'll do db equals true this makes sure that the player can't continue to press the button and break some scripts. And because we only want to access the main menu once, we can just keep this as true. And then basically after this transition tween right here, create a new line, wait 0.25, script.parent, colon, destroy. And there we go. There is our simple main menu scripted. We can go ahead and play test this. As you can see, our camera is stuck in place and we have our title, our play button. If we click the play button, the transition plays. And as you can see, we're locked to our character. If we try to reset our character, the menu does not come back. So that is my quick tutorial on how to make a simple main menu GUI. If you want a longer tutorial on how to make a main menu GUI, check the description and you can see my 2024 how to make a main menu GUI video. But this was a simple main menu GUI, so it's very fast to make. Plus, it looks pretty good. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.